always talk about phase one and phase two detoxification, and that has a lot to do with taking a substance into the liver and then um, biochemically transforming that substance, uh, making it either water soluble or, or fat soluble, and, and sort of making it inert and putting it into the digestive tract or pushing it out through the kidneys. Well, there's phase three detoxification, and phase three is really about those compounds that your liver has has um, transformed how do you get them out and so phase three is like how do they get out of the body how do you breathe them out how do you sweat them out how do you pee them out how do you poop them out so there are a lot of things that go into that and and there are some very easy ways that all of us can um, ensure that we're we're detoxing every single day and we could just focus on phase three items and um, one of the one of the best ways to to uh, promote phase three dox, detoxification is to ensure that you're getting plenty of glutathione in your diet. So sulfur rich compounds like um, you could do uh, garlic, um, you can do brassicaceae family. So uh, that means um, broccoli and cauliflower. Um, coffee enemas are super helpful at um, um, producing glutathione in the body or supplementing with a liposomal glutathione, mm. you know? So if, uh -huh. if you feel like you've been exposed, um, if you've recently painted your house or you grew up in the decades where leaded fuel was quite common, mm -hmm. and this is interesting. So what we're, looking, what we're seeing is a lot of baby boomers who grew up in a, a lead-rich environment. Um, lead gets sequestered into the bone. That means it's get, it gets kind of hidden in the bone. Mm -hmm. And now th these baby boomers are hitting menopause and getting into um, uh, a, a place where they're, they're turning over a lot of bone. Mm -hmm. So osteoporosis or osteopenia, all of that lead that was trapped in the bone is now being released. Oh, wow. Right? So we're seeing uh -huh. a huge increase uh -huh. in, in sort of this uh, lead toxicity. So if we can get the transport proteins that are responsible for for getting these things out of the kidneys and, in, and into the urine, um, and we can just use glutathione, alkalinizing the body. There's some benefit to actually taking a, an alkalinizing agent, and that is to alkalinize the urine and reduce the amount of toxins that are getting recirculated in the kidneys. It'll actually help, pr it promotes the excretion of, of toxins. So, you know, if, if someone is feeling uh, like I said, exposed to something or feeling toxic or they think they need to detox their bodies, then, you know, to use an alkalinizing agent, I would just wouldn't use it around meals. Mm -hmm. I, I would wait till, you know, I've, I've actually sat down, I had my meal, I've digested, and then I would take it maybe before bed or maybe I would do it, um, you know, a, an hour in between um, meals or something like that. But I, I really want to preserve stomach acid, but I also want to detox too. So, right. Um, we use something called phenomenal water here, and we add it to distilled water. But it, it, it brings the alkalinity up in the urine, and when the alkalinity comes up in the urine, you excrete more toxins. So it's super helpful. There, are there any other alkalinizing products that you're a fan of? Like some people use baking soda, like a small amount, quarter teaspoon of baking soda in water. Yeah. Some people do yeah. greens. Is there any that you... I think greens is my favorite way. You yeah. know, greens just have so many other benefits yes outside of alkalinization yeah but if i'm looking at somebody that is that is toxic or if they have a lot of skin issues or they have a lot of brain fog or i feel that there's some environmental exposure that might be um, detrimental to their health or, or an obstacle to cure then i'll think about using an alkalizing al alkalinizing agent mm -hmm. um, when before i wouldn't even consider it just i didn't feel like it was the right thing to do in terms of blood pH and stomach acid. Hearing how effective it is at helping us detox, I, it kind of changed my mind in certain scenarios. Mm -hmm. Green tea is also super helpful for helping you detox. Mm. That, and this is, and again, phase three, like how do we get stuff out? So uh, drinking uh, green tea daily, alkalinizing your urine. Um, All the polyphenols in the green tea. Absolutely, yeah. there's so much benefit to that. Um, what else? Uh, probiotics and fiber. 